charged with attempted murder for a shooting in St. Matthew's parking lot over the weekend is no stranger to violent offenses. Eric Brooks was in court this morning after police found him walking cr crowded in crowded streets with a gun. Wave News reporter Sean Bowdy shows us why his alleged actions don't come as much of a surprise. It's a moment that made restaurant goers run to safety. Eric Brooks arrested Friday after he was seen walking outside Patrick's on Frankfurt Avenue with a gun. But his arrest stems from a shooting a few miles away. According to police, Brooks shot a woman in this St. Matthews parking lot after an argument, injuring two others as well. He allegedly stole one of their cars, left it here on the railroad tracks before what you see here on Frankfurt. Brooks has a long criminal history. Court records show in 2017 he was charged with murder. It was ultimately amended to facilitation to murder. Since then, he's been charged with drug charges, gun charges, escape, reckless driving, and more in 2020, 2021, 2023, and even earlier this year. This time, he's charged with attempted murder. I'm not going to waste the court's time today with a whole lot. Uh, this is obviously very serious on its face. I can tell you that there are some anomalies that are not accounted for. Brooks was still serving home incarceration when police say he cut off his ankle monitor this past weekend, but his lawyer says there's more to that. Uh, he was declared AWOL by HIP approximately an hour after he was granted a furlough. So there's going to be some kind of weird technicalities going on there. Some of the conditions that allow Brooks temporary release from home incarceration include drug and mental health treatment. I can tell you that Eric has for a long time, up until um, a few days ago, been very consistent with his drug treatment and his mental health treatment. Police say Brooks knew the woman who was shot and injured. He's being held in a $200,000 full cash bond. He'll be back under home incarceration if posted. In Louisville, Sean Bowdy, Wave News.